About a year ago, Mixola published a video talking about the stylophone he made. It is basically a MIDI device based on the H-Tiny 85 that sends MIDI commands through USB MIDI, thanks to the help of BUSB. Sadly, he hadn't released any PCB files, nor the port list to make it, and neither the code. And now it is time to change that, and I began to make a clone of it. When I began prototyping this clone, I encountered a problem, and that is how to read 20 pads with a single pin. Since the AT Tiny needs two IOs for BUSB, two for the buttons, and thus leaving me with one pin left. So I did the same as Mitzella did, a voltage divider. The way this solution works is that I just put lots of resistors and each of them I connected to a pad. So when I touch a pad with 5 volts, I will get a proportional voltage to the resistor that touch it and to the resistor that is connected to ground. And then I can just measure that voltage with an ADC. Like for example, I just use PB2, which is ADC1. By the way, this solution isn't perfect since you're going to encounter some capacitance on the ADC. Meaning that, for example, if you have 0 volts and from sudden you change it to 5 volts, you will get the readings in between and thus creating more nodes, since those nodes are going to be in this range and also noise, and what noise does is the reading will vary a bit and thus you need to define a range where this reading should fall. Ok, enough talking. One thing that is different in my design is that I have these two push buttons and they are used to transport the nodes by octaves, but also to calibrate the stylophone. Like, every resistor is different so if you try to replicate this project, your resistors may vary its resistance and thus giving a different value. So what I did is that if you push this push button for more than a second, it will enter its calibration mode. So that you can touch all of these nodes and then record them to the EEPROM. So next time you boot this one up, it will load those values and your solo card will be calibrated. Finally, one thing that I want to clarify is that this stylophone doesn't make any sound. Instead, it sends the notes over USB, so we can make it sound as whatever we want. And I have prepared a demo that I've been playing a song that I wrote, and it's called The Winter. 